Hey everyone, today we're going to be going on another little walk through the neighborhood. Different part of the neighborhood this time, so I don't get stopped by any Karens or Darrens that may be out and about on this nice Wednesday, no, yes, Wednesday morning. I, I guess I should update on what's happened over the last two days. First thing I should say is after I had made that video Monday. No, it actually looks like it was Sunday when I posted that video. Everything's bleeding in together now. As the days went on, I actually started feeling much better. Yesterday morning, I felt completely normal and fine, and that was great. Ate some cereal, it was really good. Oh wait, no, I'm getting ahead of myself because something happened when I went to work Tuesday. Fortunately, Tuesday wasn't a very long shift, but it was a very eventful one. You see, as I was driving up to work, I noticed that my air conditioning wasn't really air conditioning too good anymore. I looked at the temperature gauge and noticed that the needle was pointing closer and closer to H for hot. I was like, uh-oh. So I ended up pulling over and contacting some car people that I know for some advice, some candid advice as to what's going on, and obviously my engine's starting to overheat. I looked at it myself, I, there's a lot of noise up here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till we're farther away to continue my story. So I pulled over into a parking lot about five minutes away from work, and I turned my car off, and then someone wanted to see the temperature on it, and I turned it back on, and the needle was all the way over to H, like immediately was all the way over to H. I was like, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, that's not good. So I turned the car off again, and I was looking around it, and after a few minutes, the person was like, you know, you can go ahead and turn your car back on, see what it's looking like, try to make it work. Turned it on, and everything seemed normal. The temperature gauge was right there in the middle where it generally is, and I understand that temperature fluctuations are gonna happen, but they've never happened to this extreme. Plus, like I said, the AC wasn't working, so there definitely was something wrong. Anyway, it, it looked fine, and so I continued my journey to work, and as I drove, it, it seemed fine. It was, it was right there where it was supposed to be, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, maybe everything's good now. But of course it wasn't, because after maybe two or three minutes of driving, it started to go back up again. And I was like, come on, bro. Really? I literally just got done being sick. So, I mean, I still didn't feel super great, especially at that time. I was like, I was almost there. I was, if, if Friday or Saturday night, whenever I got sick, was like a 10, I was basically at a one at that point. The sickness, the bad feeling was on its way out. But now my car is having problems and that really sucks. So I made it to work and it didn't overheat, thankfully. And I, I did what I had to do at work and then I left. When I turned my car back on, the temperature gauge was showing that it was all the way over to cold. Like the other extreme slowly started to heat back up, generally stayed in the middle. As I drove, it started steadily heating up more and more. Occasionally, it would actually cool off a little bit, but on the whole, it was getting hotter and hotter. Now, it never reached all the way to H. It kind of reached the most it got was about halfway between the center of the dial and the H. Maybe a little bit closer to the H than that, but it never got all the way over there, which I was thankful for, and I didn't have to end up pulling over. I was gonna go hang out with somebody yesterday. I did hang out with someone yesterday, and I was like, well, shit, I don't have a car, I can't go pick them up. But fortunately, Lauren's car was still at the house, and they left a spare key, so I was able to do that, and I'm also able to get to and from work, and to and from the grocery store if I need to go get food, which I'll probably have to do somewhat soon. It's the guy up ahead with some dogs. So I, I was like, whatever, it, it really sucks that my car is having these issues and I'm sure that it's gonna be an arm and a leg, especially in the area that I'm living at, to get it fixed, to even get it looked at. But hopefully the issue, and from what the car people were telling me, I mean, they haven't actually looked at the car themselves, but from what I was describing, they said it just sounds like a thermostat issue, which isn't that big of a deal. They said it's not that bad to get fixed. It, it, in the grand scheme of what could be going wrong, it's one of the best things to be going wrong with the car. Anyway, hung out with a friend, and that was a lot of fun. We watched Beastar Season 2, and my review on Beastar Season 2 is if Season 1 was a mic drop, Season 2 was kind of a ball drop. Wasn't really that great. It started off really good, but then it just slowly kind of lost steam as it went through, and I won't get into all that here. It's like a whole another kit and caboodle to talk about all that. But we had a really good time, ordered some pizza, 
And actually, that pizza, I had like two or three slices. That was actually the most I had been able to eat in a sitting since before work on Monday. So, wait, no, was it Sunday? I don't know, Friday, Saturday, whenever I got sick, everything's bleeding together. But I, I'm doing all right. We hung out, I ate the pizza, it was good. We talked, it was a really genuinely good time. And it was a bright spot in an otherwise what's been a pretty not great time for me recently. And we got this convention coming up, which ought to be fun. After, after, we were hanging out at, at the house, right? And after that, we ended up, I ended up taking her back home. We got some boba tea, which I'd only ever had one time before, but I really ended up enjoying it this time. However, I started feeling not so great. I just had like head fog, was kind of having loss of balance. I think it probably has something to do with the heat. Even walking out here right now, I still feel like a kind of crap. After a bit, I really wanted to stay and keep talking, and I felt kind of bad because towards the end, I wasn't really saying much, and I was kind of like zoning out, and I didn't want to worry her. But eventually, I was like, I, I got to go home. Like, I'm not feeling good. I'm really sorry. I got to get going. So we said goodbye, and I ended up driving home. It was pretty rough. I actually, there was a few moments where I, I didn't think I was going to be able to make it home. It's just my head just felt like, yeah. I can't even describe it. It's just like I was head tired, like my head was fatigued. But not like I'm gonna close my eyes and go to sleep tired. It wasn't like that. But I, I made it home with the power of boba tea and epic tunes. On the way home, which is a little bit concerning, my arms, my it started in my hands, my fingers, and it started to work its way down my arms. But they started tingling a bit. I'm gonna walk past this giant truck right there. It's making all the noise in the whole world. Outside of me, of course. My fingers, my hands, and uh, a little bit down my arms started to feel tingly. Of course, that didn't help, kind of added to the stress. I made it home. I freaking pulled myself up the stairs, threw myself in bed. Didn't really know what was going on. I kind of figured out. I kind of am figuring out what's happening, but I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. So I, I laid down, I got a little bit of a cold shower because I, I didn't know if I was like running a fever or not. And I certainly wasn't. I, I got a thermometer and checked. Of course it was a contactless thermometer and I don't know how accurate those things are supposed to be. It kept fluctuating between 96 and 99 degrees. So I took a cold shower anyway and I laid down in bed. The tinglingness in my arms kind of stopped. It slowly went away and I slowly started to feel a bit better in my head. And eventually I ended up going to sleep. Had a nice nap, woke up around 11.30. Ended up going back to sleep, woke up again a few hours later, went back to sleep, woke up again a few hours later, around 5 a.m., ended up going back to sleep. And then I woke up a little bit past 7 o'clock and then I got started on my day. Feeling a bit better today, not 100% there, comparatively, if yesterday was a 10, I guess today was a 1 or a 2. Even walking around out here, I felt a little bit off balance and it's probably because of the heat. So I'm definitely going to get something to drink. Being in the cool kind of makes it feel better, so I definitely think that I'm suffering from some form of heat exhaustion, especially since, like I said a few days ago at work, we didn't have any air conditioning at all and it was really, really hot. And for some reason, typically for me, it takes like about 24 hours or so for the effects of heat exhaustion to actually start kicking in. I think that's what ended up making me sick because dizziness and nausea, two symptoms of heat exhaustion. Well, those are symptoms of basically any illness, but those are two definite symptoms of heat exhaustion. The other thing is just poor sleeping habits. I, when you go to sleep, you're not, you're supposed to like kind of turn your mind off and gently go to sleep. But what I'll do, and I shouldn't do this, and this is probably what's messing me up and it's just starting to now take place. What I'll do is I'll, I'll literally stay up on my phone until I cannot keep my eyes open any longer and then I'll whoop, go to sleep. It's probably why I keep, I feel the way that I am. The last time I felt like this with the head fog and everything was when I worked for Kroger and that was an extremely stressful time in my life. So it makes sense that now I'm going through a lot of stressful stuff and it just kind of feels like one thing after the other. I think it's just a lot of stress with things happening recently with getting sick. I probably, even though I felt better, I was probably still recovering from being sick the other day and yesterday when I went out and did all that stuff it probably aggravated the condition again and I overexerted myself just poor sleeping uh, the car starting to have heating issues so I got to deal with that it's just a lot of stuff compounding to make me feel bad 
but I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to be doing the, the self-care, resting up and not doing too much. This video is probably the most I'm going to do today. That's been my life recently. It's been up and down. I'm going to try to have a 3D video up for you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I'm, I'm kind of feeling like crap. But maybe I'll, I'll feel better later the more I stay in the air conditioning. Because I, I think the heat definitely aggravates whatever is going on and it's probably some form of, of heat illness that I'm going through. Of course it's hotter than Hades outside and you want to go outside because you got to get your vitamin D but I, I guess there are better ways to do that. That being said, I'm, I'm going to call it for now. I was able to eat this morning just fine so no stomach issues which is good. That's it. I appreciate you guys for watching. I know things have been a little bit weird on the channel recently. I'm trying to get things back together, but it, it, it's it's been tough. There are some W's too. There's always W's. The big W's is I, I like where I work, and I found my uh, name tag. I had lost that for a few days. I found that the other day. That was nice. I made this really cool stall for RCT2. That was really cool. And I, I got to hang out with someone that I've been looking forward to hanging out with. And I'm glad that she had a really good time. And I had a really good time too, despite how how I ended up leaving. With that being said, I'm going to call it, I'm, I'm freaking wiped, dude. I'm so wiped. You guys have a good day. Remember, stay out of the heat. Uh, remember to take care of yourself. It's very important. Remember to good sleeping habits. Remember to eat well. Remember to get your vaccines. And you all have a good day.